Hey everyone, welcome to our tutorial for the hot press machine. So the purpose of this hot press machine is to create a puck-like block that's going to hold your sample so that you can do hardness tests or view it under a microscope. So the first step is placing your sample onto the plate of the hot press machine. When placing the sample onto the plate, the orientation doesn't matter, but just remember that whichever surface touches the plate, that is the side that will be exposed when the puck is complete. Now, after that, you're going to press the ram down button on the screen to bring the plate down into the machine. Now, the lower you bring the plate into the machine, the safer you are getting a better result of the shape of your puck. With the sample in position into the machine, you want to place your uh, plastic powder, called phenolic, into the machine as well. And to do that, you place a funnel on the top of the machine, and then using the scoop, take about one and a half scoops of the powder and pour it into the machine and give it a tap on the funnel so that all the powder will fall into the machine. Make sure that none of the powder is falling outside of the machine because it makes a mess. So try to be careful. Once you've completed placing your phenolic into the machine, bring the locking mechanism on top of the machine over to the opening and bring it down, aligning the grooves so that it locks in place correctly. But you're going to have to give it a lot of wiggling because it can be difficult to get the lock in place properly. So once you bring it down, you're going to have to wiggle it a bunch and then turn it clockwise so that it locks in place. Once you've got the lock down, you want to click on Auto to just to double check that all of your parameters are correct. And then you can click the Start button and that'll start the uh, hot pressing process. So after about 10 to 15 minutes, the process of the hot press machining will be completed. And at this point, you want to take your sample out. So what you have to do is unlock the top. However, it can be difficult to take off the top. So what you would do is just rotate it counterclockwise so that it would be unlocked. But it may not come off at this point. So what you want to do is click the ramp up button so that the plate will assist in bringing the lock off of the machine. Once you get that off, just take that out of the way by rotating it to the left side, and then you can pick up your sample. So as you can see, you can't see your sample. So what you're going to have to use is the polishing machine to wipe off the excess phenolic. So now the process is complete. Let's say you wanted to make two different pucks to hold two different materials, for example. Well, what you would do is start the same way. You would place the sample onto the plate, bring the plate down, and then apply the powder. But the second step is to place another plate onto the powder. So to do that, you would use this magnetic tool to take this plate and then place it all the way down as far as you can, kind of mash it down as well. Then you pick it up and then repeat the process of placing the sample, placing the powder, and then locking the top. Then you run the machine again and just take it out as you would normally. So that's it for the hot pressing machine, I hope you guys uh, learned a thing or two, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.